state panel created to study how to reduce the environmental impact of those disposable plastic grocery store bags is releasing its final report. According to that report, New Yorkers use 23 billion, with a B, plastic bags every year. That's a lot of bags. They take up resources, clog landfills, create litter, and they harm wildlife. So, what comes next on this issue? Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore. Paper or plastic, it's a choice that soon could cost you at the grocery store, a price shoppers like Elizabeth Clay don't want to pay. I would like to be able to come in conveniently whether I remember to bring my bags from home or not. Clay usually brings reusable bags to the store, but she forgot them at home and was using plastic today. She says she's very conscious about protecting the environment. That's why she donates the bags to a food pantry and daycares for diaper disposal. They're not going to the landfill for me. <laughs> and that's what some state lawmakers are trying to keep from happening. Governor Cuomo is looking at eight options on reducing the number of bags trashing the environment. Recommendations made by the New York Plastic Bags Task Force. Many of them calling for tacking on a bag fee at stores. No, we're taxed enough. <laughs> Aren't we? I think there's a better way. Other options include strengthen and enforce the current state law for plastic bag reduction, reuse, and recycling, which requires certain retail and grocery stores to set up a recycling program, something Clay agrees with. I would love to see the recycling program expanded, not just at grocery stores, but also curbside, so that we can recycle all the things that we utilize as families um, that can be reused and repurposed. Already big chain grocery stores like Aldi and Price Right charges customers for bags. Many major cities like San Francisco have banned the use of plastic bags. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars made a push to ban them more than a year ago, and it failed. No word on if or when the governor will decide on these options. In Buffalo, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.